Hello, welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel. Today's episode is brought to you by Debbie Downer. If you think everything is coming up roses and smells lovely outside, let's take a closer look, shall we? Just a warning before we get into this video, it is nothing but bad and scary news. If you're up for that, we'll see you all the way to the end, with the worst of the worst being saved for the end. All right, well, let's get started with the misery. 7.5 million small businesses are at risk of closing a report finds from CNBC. Do you really think they had to go out on a limb for that one? Now, this is from back on tax day, April 15th. Duh, yeah, so there we go. Seven and a half million small businesses at risk of closing. That's pretty horrible. Let's see which businesses are in danger of closing. You could look down here and read their fine point, but I've already got some stories pulled up. Let's see, the Mayo Clinic is forced to cut $1.4 billion in pay after the governor, Waltz, ordered to gut the business. So, one of the most prestigious and important health clinics, yeah, they can't afford to pay their bills. Who else is in trouble? Beaumont to lay off 2,475 workers permanently and cut 475 jobs. But what's a Beaumont? Beaumont is a hospital in Michigan. So, another hospital, not just the Mayo, is letting go 2,400. But wait a minute, aren't all the medical people needed to treat the cootie? Yeah, well, it turns out no, because what happened is, when they said no more elective surgeries, that meant dentist, that meant biopsy doctors, that meant pretty much everybody but COVID doctors have been unemployed as long as, let's just say, the rest of us. Okay, so... Doctors are getting laid off permanently cut or 450 jobs. So your medical people that you hear everybody cheering for and celebrating, still waiting for the big cheers for our people that are working the front lines on the grocery store who are putting their lives on the line and dropping like flies. Anyways, kudos to all of them. What else? Sending hospitals into bankruptcy. My goodness, even the Wall Street Journal has a story on sending the hospitals into bankruptcy. The lockdowns are doing great unintended harm to medical providers. Oh, what else is out there that's horrible that you might not have already known? Uh, terrified doctors risking their health fighting coronavirus. Coro co the cootie dealt another blow. Pay cuts. Well, that's the ones that got to keep it because this story's older. This one's from the 13th. This one is from the 21st, and mail was from the 13th. So I've been collecting these a while, because you notice I haven't been around a while. Okay, now, what else do we have? Who else is in trouble? Come on. Wakey, wakey. Come on, we got a show to do here. Wisconsin. Let's see, farm bankruptcies rising rapidly as the cootie weighs heavily on agriculture. Oh, great, so there goes our food supply chain. So in Wisconsin... You can say goodbye to moo, and moo, and milk, and milk. So there's our food chain. And if you think you can wipe out the dairy farms and bring them right back when you feel like it, good luck with that. These are living animals. These are not babies. These take years to grow. That's years to fix the food supply chain. Oh, nothing but bad news. Now that was six days ago, South Dakota meat plant outbreak linked to more than half of the cootie cases in the state, spurring food shortage fears. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, there's, there she is. Okay. Oh, I get her mixed up with the Michigan one. Sorry, that's not the Michigan one. This is not Governor Lockdown. This is Governor Do What You Want and Sorry, it didn't work out for everybody. And it's not. This cootie is the unlucky lottery, to be sure. Staffing shortage at Delaware Chicken Plant, forcing growers to depopulate or dispose of millions of birds. Ah, oh, now this is from six days ago, so they were... Well, they were getting rid of all the birds. Now they're getting rid of all the eggs. So the updated story is now they're getting rid of the eggs to prevent the birds from being born. Again, this is our food supply chain. This will take months to years to fix. It's really, really bad out there. How am I doing? Am I, have I convinced you that this is all bad, terrible news? Dairy farmers across America, not only getting rid of the cows, not only getting rid of the chickens, they're getting rid of the milk too. And I heard a podcast last night from, it was either Wall Street Journal or PBS, because they both covered the same story, which was weird. That doesn't happen too often. Anyways, and they were interviewing this farmer lady, and she was just, oh my god, I think it might have even been this lady. She was just ruined by it. She's like, you don't understand how much work it takes 
to get the cows, to grow into the cows, to feed the cows, to milk the cows. And they said, we have no place to take it because they're not using the cheese because the distributors, there's two distributors out there. This is for toilet paper, in case you're wondering why there's no TP. This is for toilet paper, and this is also for food. There's the commercially marketed products, which are in entirely different packaging and uh, different constituency, not constituency, consistency. And that's true for toilet paper, which is why we don't have TP. And it's also true for a lot of the food. Think about your kids when they go to school, or if you were a kid, then why are you watching this if you're a kid? This is so boring if you're a kid. Anyway, those little milk cartons that you get at school that you get nowhere else. Well, all of those are useless now because schools are closed and theme parks are closed and everything's closed. So they're getting rid of, and they don't know what to do with the cows. They're thinking about slaughtering some of them. Years to replace people. Years. Oh, what else is horrible? Hey, it's so bad that the zoo says that the cootie may, this is a zoo in Germany, is going, let's see, may force it to feed its own animals to each other. Let's see, that's from, I don't think they actually did it. Oh, I gotta use the pandas. Oh, You'd think this picture would be in color, but now it's in black and white. Oh, wow. Well. So much for modern tech. And this is the same story from a different source. German zoo may kill some of its animals to feed others as funds dry up amid the pandemic. Ooh, that just seems... What's, the, well, what's all the black and white pictures? Okay, we move on. Any more horrible news? There's plenty of more horrible news. What else? Hundreds of U.S. oil... Sorry about that. Hundreds of U.S. oil companies could go bankrupt after oil prices fall below zero dollars a barrel. So if you haven't been following the story, what happened was there's so much oil that they're pumping up that we can't put into vehicles because nobody's really driving that much anymore. Though I got to tell you, I was driving a week ago on the freeway in L.A. and the traffic was no different than pre-crisis. So I'm like, what's going on with the lockdown? Where's the lockdown? But at night, it's, it's way more abandoned way 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 more abandoned okay anyways so what happened is they got all this oil it's glutting and so there's nowhere to put it all the tankers are filled and everything like um so they actually had to pay people to take the oil off of their hands now in another story i was reading how when you shut down those oil rigs that suck up the oil you're never 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 supposed to turn those off it's kind of like siphoning Oh, let's just say gas. It's like siphoning gas. Once you start the siphon chain, it just goes until the air pressure matches and it works. Well, it's kind of the same thing, it turns out, for getting the stuff out of the ground. It kind of works like a siphon, if not exactly like a siphon, so that if you turn off an oil rig, it may not turn back on and produce oil again. This is one of the things that the oil people are like, guys, if we turn it off, it may not turn back on. And this is true for all rigs in the story that I read. Okay, more bad news. More, more, more. Come on. Aren't you going to give us some good news? Nope. Not today. Sam Burnett, but I do have good stories um, planned. I just got to do some time. And I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm doing 8 million stories at once so I can clean out my, my uh, bookmarks. San Bernardino County Sheriff District Attorney rails against California's new... Oh my God, California's copied New York with the new zero bail policy. That's right. When you get arrested and you get locked up, and then they say, okay, we're going to hold you on bail. And they go, yeah, but you don't actually have to give money for bail anymore. And they're like, okay, here you go. Bye-bye. Make sure you come back for that court date. <laughs> Good luck with that. So needless to say, the DA and the cops are like, whoa, 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 what? Talk about a revolving door. It's not even a metaphor anymore. Any other bad news? Pritzker administration in Illinois. Administration forecasts multi-billion dollar budget hole. They always have a multi billion dollar budget haul. The difference is this time they want to act like, oh, I'm going to say it. They want to act like Puerto Rico after the hurricane and go, hey, you know how we were bankrupt before the, tor the, the hurricane? We can use this hurricane to siphon the money out of the United States of America's budget and then we're not in the hole anymore. And that's exactly what Illinois is trying to do. There's a bunch of other states trying to do it too. LA school district is feeding, instead of sending the kids to pick up the free food every day, the ones that are on yeah, on the welfare, the ones that are on the free lunch program. Well, they were having them come by, but they're like, guys, this is stupid because there's a zillion interactions and chances for the cootie to spread. So they reduced it down to one day a week, and you go pick up a whole box of food, and, they're, and they know the adults are eating it, and that's against the law. So technically, they don't have to be paid for it, and they're just rolling the dice that the feds will go, okay, I guess we'll give you the money anyways. All this money being printed... U.S. economic data showed deep hit in March and collapse in April. Well, let's see, it's April 21st, so I'm going to go with, yep. 
their prediction was correct because this was being back on, again, April 15th. Uh, a lot of good news stories that day. Well, if you like bad news, any more bad news? Why, yes, there is more bad news. Pretty catastrophic month for retailers, and now a race to survive. Yes, yes, they are. Let's see, how old is this one? Does this one tell? Uh, oh, seriously, they were just cranking out the bad news on April 15th. Oh, the curse of the 15th of April. Let's see, what was the curse of April 15th? Well, you got Lincoln got shot and died. Shot on the 14th, died on the 15th. Titanic hit the iceberg on the 14th, sank on the 15th. Boston bombings on April 15th. Uh, any other horrible things that happened? Oh, yeah, Notre Dame burned down last year on the 15th of April. And taxes are due. It's pretty much a really bad day. So, let's look at their lovely little chart. Doom! Doom! Nothing but doom! This looks like a commercial for a vampire movie. Look at all that. Especially that. Doesn't that look like blood? Oh, my gosh. Oh, any more doom? There's still more doom! California newspapers seek state aid as pandemic slashes their revenues. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. Boo-hoo-hoo. Sorry, guys. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Now, the last one. This is really... If you weren't terrified by, the, by all of the other stories, this one... This one is really, really scary. The corona... <clears throat> the cootie crisis in the uh, U.S. charities helping millions in need fall apart as the pandemic looms. All of the places that people have been going to get rescued now are in need of rescue themselves. If you think of the image of the person in the quicksand in the movie, by the way, there's no actual quicksand like in the movies. That's totally bunk. But anyways, let's go back to that image anyways. And they hand them the stick. Well, what's happening in this case is the person is grabbing the stick. And as they're getting rescued, being pulled out, the person holding the stick discovers, for some magical reason, the quicksand has grown in width. And now they're both sinking, and there's no one left to pull either one of them out. And there is example after example of major and minor charities going under because there's nobody working to give the money. And you, there's been a couple of fundraisers over the last few weeks with the, the World War II veteran who was walking back and forth in his yard. And then there was the We Are the World or whatever it was called. One World. Yeah, because that one world has really worked out really well for us, hasn't it? And they raised a bunch of money. And, you know, for some of us out here in the real world, we're like, well, not that there is no real world anymore. We're like, where did you get the money? How do you have so much money to donate? Disney is on the, the edge of bankruptcy. Think about it. They have two products, movies and theme parks. Both are extinguished. They still have to pay to keep the grounds going, and they still have to pay to keep the rides operating. Or, if the rides don't, then just like the oil rigs, the maintenance, you've, you've got to keep them going, or the oil builds up. You guys all know what it's like if you don't start your car every once in a while. So they're still paying for this. So in other words, all they do is have money going out. And all of these celebrities and rich people um, that are, they don't have, they don't have a job anymore, and they're hoping they've got one when it comes off. So, yes. I can now clear my bookmark folder of 5 million horrible stories. We will have some good news coming up in future stories. We just have a lot of stuff to do. One of the things that we've been chatting uh, to some of our friends about is all these people like, oh, watch this, you've got plenty of time. It's like, dude, I have way less time now than ever before. Partially because I'm doing a lot of stuff online for uh, Skype lessons and things like that. But no, 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 free time is not. That's why I haven't made the videos. But anyways, for those handful of you that actually made it all the way to the end, thank you very much. Appreciate it. If you want to subscribe to the channel, let's face it, if you watch this much of the video, you are a subscriber, so thank you. If not, wow, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. And we will see you in the very, very, very bleak and scary future. But as everybody likes to say, we will make it out. Well, some of us will make it out of it. 50,000 in American heavens. But all right, some of us are going to make it out of it. And it's really horrifying out there. I'm not sugarcoating it by any stretch of the imagination. Mmm, sugar. Have as great a day as you can. Stay safe, stay healthy, and the lockdown is starting to ha the lockdown is starting to break. Certain states are starting to get free. And you guys most especially, be careful. 
It's not over yet. 